Hello everyone, I'm Jesse Crawl. Welcome to Tommy Media's The Locker Room. Perfect seasons collide Saturday in O'Shaughnessy Stadium when St. Thomas and Hobart take their 12-0 records into that NCAA quarterfinals matchup. This is the Tommy's fourth straight trip to the quarterfinals. Seventh ranked Hobart from Geneva, New York beat number 24 Wittenberg last Saturday 35-10. I'm joined today by Coach Glenn Caruso and running back Brenton Braddock. Thanks for joining us, guys. You're welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having us. Coach, for the first time this past, this past season, you have been leading after the first quarter. This past Saturday, though, you were down after the first quarter. How is this going to help you against Hobart? As we've talked about on the show before, I think the different ways that you win are, are what make you a special or dynamic team. And uh, certainly we'd love to be able to come out and be up 49 at halftime as we have before. But that's not always the case, and the deeper you get into the playoffs, the less likely that's the case. So what we take from that is certainly we have to eliminate those mistakes, but more importantly, it gives us a, a confidence and, and a peace of mind knowing that, hey, if we come out and we play great, wonderful, we'll keep working, that's not going to change. But if we come out and we're down 14 nothing, not a huge deal, we'll figure out what we have to do and move on, and it's just one of those ways to add to that huge list of ways that this team has won games. Brenton, speaking about mistakes, you fumbled early in the Elmhurst game but made up for it by scoring the team's first touchdown. How do you stay focused after making a mistake in such a big game? Well, that type of mistake is absolutely unacceptable, and I put my team in a horrible situation in doing so. But in doing that, it kind of gave me a little bit of a chip on my shoulder. I wanted to redeem myself and make sure that I played as hard as I could and put my team in a better situation. Hobart's offense is averages over more than 424 yards a game. What can the defense do to stop this? I'm sure there's going to be some passes mixed in there, here and there, but they're going to line up and try and, and pound it. And they have a nice offensive line and two backs that are kind of doing a, a good job. And then, you know, if you get too egregious in doing that, they, they, their quarterback, uh, if, if uh, their starter is playing, I'm not sure who's going to play, but uh, they do a nice job getting back there and, and throwing the ball deep to number 81. So they're, they're well balanced, and not just on, on offense, but defense as well. Brenton. Hobart's defense is no joke either. They're only allowing teams to get 222 yards a game. What are some key points to break through this tough statesman's defense? Well, we definitely have to control the line of scrimmage. It's definitely a tough defense, one of the better defenses we're going to see this year. So definitely controlling the line of scrimmage, giving our quarterback Matt O'Connell time to pass the ball and being able to move line of scrimmage and pick up uh, big yards on first down. It's going to be a tough matchup, guys. Good luck. Definitely. And now it's time for this week's fan question. Coach, Evan Guggenberger wants to know, what is the mindset of the team as they prepare to play an undefeated team in the quarterfinals? Well, obviously, mental toughness is a mantra that you know we use quite a bit. And um, I think there's a, there's a, there's a nice balance. Our, our guys are urgent, and they have that sense of urgency. But they balance that with, uh, with not a whole lot of anxiety. And the reason why, I think, is because they've earned – we don't – we're not entitled to anything, but we've earned the right to understand what this level is all about. This is our, this is our seniors' fourth straight quarterfinal game, uh, very similar to, uh, to uh, the third round game that we had last year in that matchup. And I think that our guys, uh, although are going to work extremely hard, if something doesn't go perfect, they're going to be able to rely on that experience that they have. The other thing that I think helps out immensely is the fact that our conference is so strong so strong that by the time we even entered week one of the playoffs, we probably played three teams that are playoff caliber teams. And I think that they have that in their mind as well, knowing that uh, you know we played some good teams already and we're going to have to make sure this team's no different. They're going to come out and give us their absolute A game just like every other team does. And uh, we'll have to stave that off and be ready to play our best too. All right, good luck this Saturday. Thanks. If you have a question, tweet it to at Tommy Media. Be sure to check TommyMedia.com for the latest campus news. Thanks for tuning in. With Coach Glenn Caruso and Brenton Braddock, I'm Jesse Crawl. We'll see you next time in The Locker Room.